Hello everyone, I'm Dragon Weapon. Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. When we last left off, we were down here trying to make our best, trying to do our best by getting some food up and growing, and it so far is so good. It does look like it's working. Um, I did get a, a few comments saying that the only way to actually fix some of this heating issue up here is to actually put hydro fans or wheeze warts. Now, I don't really think I have any extra wheeze warts, but... Uh, we can always look for them and uh, use them to our advantage. Uh, another thing that I was I was reading into is the fact that uh, this says it will be active in 70 or active in, in some cycles. I think it says active period 70.1 cycles every 142.7 cycles. Next activity is in 35 cycles. So for it, it, it basically makes a lot of water and then it stops. For 142 cycles, then it makes a lot of water, and then it stops. So, or it makes a lot of steam, not water, but steam. So, <coughs> um, yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to have to find another one that's actually either active or has a alternate cycle than this one, because, yeah, we're going to run out of water really quickly. So the only place I know where to go is probably either up or down. And with the fact that all of this is nasty, 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 uh, I'm going to try to take it up through this section up here, try to go through the cold, and try to, uh, you know, get more of this area up here revealed so that way we can actually see. So how how's this over here? This is actually pretty good. Let's dig this out to get them over there to do that and see if we can't get higher up in this area over here. Uh, and another thing that I was reading on, uh, they said that as long as something hot is touching something that you want to cool down, it'll never cool down. So another thing that I would like to do is set this wheeze wart on a, on a thing here and have this set up. Uh, let's actually get a ladder and just get all of this cut out, basically. Um... So that way it's not necessarily touching, so that air has, there's enough room for the air to actually uh, cool down and, and process and things of that nature. So let's go ahead and get them to do that really fast. Uh, because if we can salvage this and then we can keep this up and running, then our, our food situation would be set. It, it won't be any issues. Another thing that we could do is put another hydro or put a hydro fan up here, which I may also do that anyway. And uh, that way we could try to cool, you know, cool this area down. So there's two between there, so two between there. There we go. Because if we could cool this area down, then again, this this area would be nice and fluffy for food. So yeah. Uh, how's our oxygen doing? Oxygen's doing okay. Uh, another thing that I probably need to do is to to get this uh, this carbon dioxide to flow downwards is i mean it's this is not that bad down here but it's it's kind of not bad here either may just need to open this area up so switch like take this uh this manual airlock and turn it into a grate but this thing right here uh it's active period uh like the uh steam geyser cool steam geyser up there the active period is 101 cycles every 152 cycles so it won't be active again for another 44 cycles so that's not too awfully bad, but we gotta we gotta combat this uh, CO2 problem. Uh, K Peter Caliphas said that the best way to get rid of CO2 is to use uh, the slicksters. Well, we're not really anywhere near where we can access the slicksters unless we go like start digging down through here, which that is a possibility. Uh, let's block this. Let's find an area to block this off because this water is going to start causing issues if we're not careful. So let's do, uh, let's like do this, I think, and then get them to mop, mop this area up right there. And then we can continue down into the depths. Hopefully we can find, you know, another geyser or two. Uh, steam, preferably, but if not, then, uh, yeah. Uh, another thing that, he, uh, Peter actually said that we could use with our polluted water is to boo for food. And I'm like, food? Thinking, what in the world? And uh, let's see. It's, he says here, uh, instead of 
Using polluted water to grow plants, you can use it. Oh, not to grow plants. Ah, use it to use fertilizer. Put it in through the fertilizer maker. Well, that's actually a good idea too. And I can have the little fertilizer set up over here because our our ga natural gas is there. So we could set that up over here. I don't know if I have the actually have the was it the refinement? Yeah, fertilizer synthesizer. We can have this, you know, over here doing those types of things, making natural gas and and all that kinds of stuff. And hopefully to keep this down, because we can keep it down, then, you know, we have a, a natural bio place. So, yeah, we're just we're just waiting for these guys. Okay, there they go. They're keeping that. They're, they're knocking that out. Hopefully this heat, I can block this heat somehow. Maybe if I did another set of insulated tiling, like so just to keep that heat away like pull it all the way over to say here because we want the heat this heat to come down but we don't want this heat to do anything with it so let's set this to a, a decently high priority actually i didn't even look to see what these i uh, made these out of granite uh in order to make these these are made out of granite which is overheat temperature of plus 27 no we need something that's slow heating i still haven't got the answer cancel that guys uh, I still haven't got the answer of if if something says slow heating, does it also say is also for slow cooling as well? Um, but who knows? Who knows? So we got this is two blocks high. Okay, well actually let's do. That. There we go. So we'll have some some heat protection, kind of like a heat shield almost. Uh, we can even set it up to where. Like we have a little blockage here, and then have a door going into this area. I don't know if the 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 those wooden door or the metal doors actually do anything good, but eh, you never know. But let's get this set up over here, and those guys are working that really really good. Get this going, because we're still. We're, I mean, we're we're doing we're getting food. We're getting the food, uh, but we're slowly declining, slowly declining. And I don't want that to happen. But it looks like we're doing good. Uh, insufficient water. Oh, these things actually take water now? Ooh, I didn't realize they took water. Uh, okay, so deconstruct that one. Let's get this out of there. But hopefully we can get up here, find another geyser that's active. And... Uh, Use it to its fullest potential. Otherwise, we're waiting another 33.8 cycles, which I think we have enough water for that. We should have enough water for 33 cycles. Yeah, we can tap into this. Um, and to, to get rid of a CO2, I mean, it's, it's doing good right here. So let's go ahead and deconstruct. Or not deconstruct it. Let's put a switch on that. So power... Find a switch, place it for a switch. Um, I might just have to t uh, cut the wire. Yeah, deconstruct the wire. So how's our plumbing there? It's full. All right, so what I'll do is I'll just grab a pitcher pump. Again, I don't want to put it in... Uh, I didn't want to put it in the water though, but I mean, we may have to. We may just absolutely have to. Either that or flood this compartment, like break one of these and just let the compartment flood. But that this way, this one can pick it up. That actually might be a, not a bad idea. All right, guys, I know the oxygen's getting low, getting low on algae, so we need to go, go digging, basically. Wait, can we wrangle these guys? Oh, no, we can't wrangle them. We have to trap. We have to trap them. All right, so get this out of here. And let's go exploring today. Let's get these guys to go exploring. Go up there. And then what we'll do is we'll go over here as well. And go down. I mean, we could also go up as well, but I'd have to do... Well, hey, there's a there's a wheeze board there that we could tap into. So, what is this up here? Polluted oxygen? It's not that bad. 
Uh, so what we can do is we can take another ladder system, take a look to see where our, all of our germs are. And that's more chlorine. I don't want to tap into that, so probably go through probably here. Like, go through here. Like that. That would work. Possibly. Go up there. Hey, there's another wheeze wart. Uh, we can also go up further into here. Like there, and then come out, say like there. And just tiptoe, tiptoe our way around the nasty, basically. Uh, I mean, like... I mean, if it's over on this side where there's where they actually have to, well, down here, if I cut this off and then make the ladder go up this way, I could, uh, I could in theory have them do okay, because they have to go through the wash basins to actually get get there. We could even make another uh, another restroom area up here that they go through, but I have to. Dig into all this germ germs. Oh, wow. This place is getting germy anyway. Ooh. That's not good. Um. Huh. One way or another, we're getting into germs. But our, our immune system, as of right now, is not doing that bad. Our stress is doing pretty good. Uh, and we're just, we're taking our time, basically. Ooh, there's two wheeze warts up there. Actually, just use get into all of those. Actually, uh, so let's do this, and then all of that, and box this in. Actually, I need to cancel this. And pull it out one more. So that way a ladder can actually be placed. Airlock this in. And then ladder this up. Like that. And they'll get around to it when they get around to it. I'm not going to force them to. Um, but if they get to it, they get to it. If they don't, they don't. Uh, that's just something. We can just. I'll let them get into it like that though. Oh, there's another Weezwort. Wow, we got three Weezworts right here in a row. Interesting. Uh, why are you suffocating? Oh, get out of the... Okay, so... We had... We, we're we running low. We're not, we're not really low on power, are we? No, not really. And we still need to get these done. Awaiting the delivery of copper ore and fiber reeds. Uh, if I had a, a way to pump oxygen into the into the the uh, suits, I would s totally put like a section right here. So that way, they didn't have to worry about oxygen. But uh, another thing that we could do is use more algae. But we're running low. We're running really low, like dangerously low, again. So hopefully, we can get into some more here soon. There's another wheeze wart. Just keeping mental notes. Hey, there's a. Uh, yeah, let's let's get this uh, dig all of this here, all that algae right there we can use. Um, probably dig in here and grab that little bit. Just looking around for more. Is this algae? Yeah. Why you guys haven't cleaned this up? Wow. Clean that up. Clean that up. Uh, get up here and get this algae. And dig this. That way we can get up here, get some more of this algae. And another thing that just crossed my mind too, if this thing makes a lot of water, we will probably need a bigger, like a bigger tank that we can put all this, you know, keep all the water in. So that way during the, t during the cycles, it is active. It can, you know, freely make water non-biasly basically probably need to put a wheeze ward in there as well to cool down the steam so it does make water actually a good idea i never thought about kind of that i don't know if the wheeze wart will kind of act though because like they they've buffed the wheeze warts then they nerfed them then they buffed them then they nerfed them 
I don't know if, if they're actually doing any good or not. Um, who knows? Who knows? Worst case scenario, we can try getting a cool, like a cool fresh, a cool cycle coming through here. Like get this cold, see if we can break its, it's free, you know, like, like, let it come through. Uh, cool, like cool air or something, get it flowing through this way. That might work. But, uh, yeah, that might actually work. All right, so can we, what's in there? That's chlorine. Uh, don't really want chlorine this close to the base. I mean, well, chlorine is over here, so it does sit on top of CO2. We could dig in here and get some of this. I mean, get some of this. Probably could turn some of our slime. We do have 661 kilograms of slime. Could use, uh, could turn it into slime. Uh, things of that nature. And you guys are, oh, too much water. Drats. I was afraid of that. So basically, oh, hey, there's some, uh, there's some algae here. Let's dig into this. There we go. That should should get them over there. So let's get them to do this. You go, girl. Yep. Yeah, get in there and get that algae. Is it all prioritized? Yeah, it's prioritized. Yeah, get that algae. All right, so cancel, 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 so that way they can get this up here. And grab that. Yeah, I made a mistake. Uh, it's just a little bit of patch, little bitty patch. How much is that? 107 kilograms. I mean, if worst case scenario we need it, we can go get it. Now that we've done that, we can get that. Taking a little look-see around. Ooh, there's a bunch of algae right there as well. Might go down there and actually get that. That looks really, really good to get. All right, so let's break that. Wait, no, 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 cancel that. Cancel. Break the tile. I keep forgetting, when you do deconstruct... Uh, it basically anything in that tile space it just it just annihilates it so if I did decided to do that now we would have broke that pipe as well and we don't need to break that pipe oh so, yeah all right so what we'll do there is then we'll grab some ladders come down here. And we'll start digging this algae out, like so. Probably get in here and get these little patches that I see around here. By the way, is that is that all gunky, grimy, grimy dirty? No, not really. Okay. All right, guys. How you doing over here? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Um, I don't see anything as of yet. There is some algae over there. There's some... Ooh, there's two more Weez Warts. Jeez. This map is not... Uh, it's not stingy with the Weez Warts. I tell you that. So, is the Jeremy's there? Yeah, the Jeremy's are there. So, what we'll do is we'll take this over this direction. And then go... Up just a little bit. And then over here. How far you guys made it over here? Not very far. But hey, once he gets this done, that water should go down here and freeze. Hey, there's another Weez Wart. Taking a little quick look around, make sure there's no other 
like neutronium or anywhere so that way it's like oh hey there's another geyser we can open up but all right one more come on guys one more open that up and that water should just flood and we won't have to worry about it for a while How's our food? 102, 103. Okay, our food's doing good. Even in its weakened state, we're doing okay on food. That's not too bad. Okay, so they're, they're doing pretty good over here. There's a room right here we can look into. And we probably could go even further this way. How's the how's the dirty over here? The dirty's not that bad. Could go over, come over here and sneak and grab some of that. All right, guys, you got you gotta you gotta sweep up your water. Why why is it not? Why are they not bringing the water here? Looted water. Uh, if duplicates will deliver bottled liquid to this building directly from pitcher pumps. No, I don't want it to do that. Huh. Do we just need to get our housekeeper going? I don't it looks like our groundskeeper's not really doing anything. Uh let's look to see who our who our tied her let's see, where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Where are they at? Or do we even have him? Frankie! Frankie, you're our groundskeeper. So, Frankie, priorities. Where are you at, Frankie? Right at the bottom? Yeah, Frankie. Tidy. I've done... Uh, yeah, basically did... Oh. Let's let's make him just do the tidy. Let's just make him do the tidy. Uh, it, yeah. Just, hey, keep, keep, the, keep the ground clean, Frankie. Where are you taking the polluted dirt, Frankie? Frank, the polluted dirt goes out here. Does this set is this all set for polluted dirt too? Organic, algae, no. Frankie, where are you going with that polluted dirt? Oh, okay. So he basically just put the polluted dirt inside here. I didn't think I set that to be polluted dirt. Maybe I did. Sandstone. Oh, I did. I did put it on polluted dirt. Huh. They want to eat the polluted dirt. Fine. But oh no! In all seriousness, I need to take that polluted dirt off of there because. Yeah, I don't want this place down here getting all stinky. All right. So how? much progress you made not too much but over here you guys still digging yeah they're still digging the water just dispersed out here so that's good that's good uh granite more granite go ahead and get this algae for me please cancel that so they don't have to worry about that And then what we'll do from here is we'll just continue further down. Digging the depths. And it should be set to high priority. Because if, if Peter is right and using Slicksters actually gets rid of our CO2, then the fact that we are, you know, basically getting down there to where we can capture Slicksters, so we can bring them up here and, and just start, you know, gobbling up this CO2. That'd be that'd be a good thing, but their byproduct that is is going to be you know uh, oil. So we probably could have like a little system over here, uh, like have the little slicksters slickster, over here, uh, or even you know somewhere down here in a, in the heat. So not maybe in the Germany, but somewhere over here in the heat. Whoa, hey, lone weaselwort, you're doing good there. Uh, but yeah, that way they can they can just gobble up all the CO2 they can ever drink and eat and whatever whatever they do to the CO2. And uh, basically make make the most of it. Uh, let's get this mopped up. So that way they don't have to get their, their soaky feet every time they come through here. And you guys are putting all the liquefiables in here, right? Oh, I need to put that on high priority. 
So that way all the liquefiables go in there, so that way they don't liquefy like they have been. How's the... that's negative 40 right there? Okay, that's, that's, that's decent. That's decent. But looking down here, there's a lot of you know, a lot of stone, a lot of sand. I see a lot of the uh, bleach stone, so we can actually make like hand sanitizer station if we wanted to. Probably could already go ahead and do that. Actually, medicine. Uh, we just need to research it. Uh, let's see, where is that at? Uh, apothecary. There it is. Hand sanitizer removes most germs from duplicates. Germ covered duplicates use hand sanitizer when passed by a selected direction. Uh, we can also get uh, the showers in the uh, lavatories, so that way we can go ahead and build them a proper, proper latrine. Because uh, we're still using this, but I'll wait. I'll wait till we get an actual water source, or you know, a, a bouncing water source that we can use. Because right now we're just living off this little water down here, uh, and we're gonna eventually have to find another source very, very soon. Uh, probably start tapping into this. Don't really want to at this point, but we may have to. Uh, and a couple of episodes ago, Peter made a suggestion that we might just use, start using uh, ice to come over here and just melt the ice to make to make water. That actually might not be a bad idea. Uh, as long as we can keep that ice over here in a non non mixture fluid, like you know, dirty water versus clean water. Uh, liquid chlorine versus water if i can find some way of pumping it out it should be good just seems like the days are not long enough they're just not long enough right, how you guys doing over here doing pretty good pretty good let's uh Build up here, then build over. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. I want to do these. There we go. Build up some more, then go over. And then we'll have to see what's in this room. <clears throat> so if we back it off there, and then make a walkway this way, we can actually see what's in that room and uh, possibly make good use of it. By the way, what is this stuff right here? This is uh, ice. 500 kilograms of ice. How's the temperature over here? Eh, decent. Decent. And this I want to be for just water. And with a high priority on it. And you know what I was sitting here thinking? You know, what we could do is take this and this. Instead of having them have to go one way or go the other, we can, uh... We can actually put a door here so that we can pass through and do all of it at one time. I technically can make this door the entrance, technically, and just block this off, but it'll be all right. Still doing good on our heat. Still doing good on that. Water's doing okay for now. How how much further are you along, good sir? Uh, 28.2 cycles, and that'll be done. And did I lock them out of there? No? Why are they not... Wonder why they're not getting this done. Weird. Sent them in there a long time ago. Mm, whatever. Alright, how far are you down here? Doing doing good, doing good. Hey! I see you. Hello, I see you. Oh my goodness, we found another one. Please, crossing my fingers, please, let it be a water source. That would be amazing. If we had a steam geyser inside of a cold biome, that steam comes out, instantly turns to water. That would be amazing. 
That would be amazing. All right, guys, this is like top-notch priority. Let's see what this geyser is before the end of the episode. Uh, have I set this up here to high priority? Nope, nope, none of that is high priority. Oh, that heat. Slowly inching this way. Oh, that one requires fertilizer. Do we not have any more fertilizer? Um, Agriculture. We've got 6.2 tons of fertilizer. All right, let's 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 make sure that these are... Mr. Farmhand, yeah. Make sure that those are of the utmost importance. Like, because food is a necessity, yeah? Make sure that this gets built too, because I think I just broke the room. Yeah, I broke the room. What are they do doing? Oh, they're picking up dirt. Because uh, dirt is the fertilizer, right? Yeah, the fertilizer is dirt. Ah, so... So, what was it? Raw materials? How much dirt do we have? Doesn't really say. Filtration medium, sand, liquefiable, liquid consumable ore, organic cult... Oh, I think it's... Uh, Oh, we're almost out of dirt. That's why. Oh, that's why we're having such a such a hard time. Okay, no, 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 no. That's that's fine. Turn these back to five, because we're gonna wind up running out of dirt. Which, speaking of dirt, we need to clean, uh, dig some. If we're out, we need to dig now. Let's get that. Need to come here and just get all of this dirt. Okay. But first, we need to check. Get these guys over here. We may just may may just leave it for a surprise till next episode. Is this this? Oh, this is going to be awesome if this is what I think it is. What are you suffocating for? Well, get inside the house. How's our how's our stuff? Our oxygen's doing better. Our CO two problems going away slowly. But yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I'll, I'll keep it as a surprise for next episode. So thank everybody so much for watching. If you did enjoy the episode, please do remember to give it a big thumbs up. It lets me know that I'm doing a good job. And uh, yeah, it lets me know that you like the series. Other than that, if you have any tips, tricks, or any other things that you would like me to build or work on in the future, I would be more than happy to do that. Just leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or concerns. Also, use that comment section down below. Other than that, thank you once again for so much for watching. And until next time. See you later.